Tonight, vaccine anxiety, confusion and concern voiced by several governors and top health officials. The current supply crunch is the one that is I'm most worried about. The scale of that supply crunch is a big unknown for the new director of the CDC. I can't tell you how much vaccine we have. And if I can't tell it to you, then I can't tell it to the governors and I can't tell it to the state health officials. White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain pledged a new level of accountability. We're going to take responsibility at the federal government. We're going to own this problem. We're going to work closely with the states. They are our key partners in getting this done. The COVID crisis is now on President Biden's watch. Today, he paused for prayer, attending Catholic Mass in Washington. While in New York, Senate leader Chuck Schumer said he pressed the White House to take urgent action. The state needs to know, the city needs to know what to expect in terms of supplies so they can set up the distribution system and they need to get more vaccines. President Biden released a nearly 200 page national strategy for COVID that includes setting up vaccination centers. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, to stand up the first federally supported community vaccination centers with the goal of 100 centers in the, next one, in the next month. And expanding vaccine manufacturing using the Defense Production Act, increasing the number of health care workers permitted to give shots, and prioritizing fairness in distribution. And Kelly joins us now. Kelly, I understand the vaccine shortages were discussed at a meeting with members of Congress today. That's right, Kate. Top White House officials spent more than an hour meeting with Senate Republicans and Senate Democrats, eight of each. And while there were some contentious issues over COVID relief, I'm told there is broad agreement that faster, more efficient vaccine distribution is something that they all say has to be a top priority. Kate. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.